friends my name is dinesh today i will show you how to repair 19 volt section sorting problem i have a hp 15 series motherboard its part number is la c 781p this laptop motherboard having problem when i connect the charger charger supply cut off and there is shorting uh there is shorting ruk jana hai let us check now first i connect the dc power supply with the motherboard 19 volt i'm going to connect it okay this is the 19 volt this is the dc power jack i have already add the jumper over here 19 volt section now i am going to connect the dc power supply okay uh when i connect it will automatically show the shorting on the dc power supply okay now i have connected the dc power supply just so over here red light is turning on red light is turning on it means that there is shorting in motherboard when i plug in there directly it lights led red light is blinking on it means that there is the shorting in 19 volt section let us check on motherboard where is the problem generally we know that in dc section there is two input mosfet and one is connected with the dc back it's a, like i'm drawing the dc jack this is the dust and there is two mosfet connected in series and here is the battery connector this is the general way in dc power supply uh, dc section of motherboard 19 volt here from this way to 10 to 12 volt come into motherboards goes into motherboard and from this way 19 volt here is the common way from here we get 19 volt section so mostly we will get this area is faulty or this or this in general way we will always find in the motherboard suppose this is the battery power section battery connector power section so opposite side of dc this will ground this will connected with the ground these two pins so these are positive supply b positive in this from this pin battery get the power into the motherboard 10 to 12 volts here you will get generally two capacitors like this and this these are you can say that 10 to 12 volt capacitor and here you will get 19 volt capacitor like this grounded like this mostly we will get this capacitor is faulty maybe this capacitor maybe this or maybe this or mostly you will get uh, fault in mosfets like one of first mosfet or second or third one now we will check on the motherboard i don't have the schematic diagram of this motherboard but i will check in common way like i will check first this mosfet and this mosfet and this mosfet then after i will check this capacitors belonging to this mosfets connected with this mosfet now i am going to check the battery connector this is showing the beep this is also showing the beep and this these pins also showing the beep this also it means there is shorting that's why all these pins are showing the beep maybe these two are grounded maybe these two are so i will i am checking this there is the two capacitor it means that these two pins are battery positive supply and these two are grounded okay now i'm going to check over here this is showing beep it means that there is shorting maybe this is faulty or i am going to check over here this is okay 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 no beep no beep this is the 19 volt from here to here diode okay diode 
no fault no shorting now once again i turn it back i'm going to check over this yeah these capacitor only these two capacitors showing the beep maybe these capacitors are faulty i will remove from the motherboard and check it outside the motherboard now check the capacitors outside the motherboard this capacitor is faulty it show the beep and this is okay so this capacitor is faulty now i have get this cap capacitor this is the capacitor which is faulty it showing the beep okay now i will replace with the other capacitor I have already replaced the faulty capacitor with the good capacitors. This is the faulty one. I have already replaced with the another good capacitors. Now, see, there is no beep. It means fault is gone. There is no shorting between these two pins. Between these opposite sides pin, no beep. It means that shorting is gone. So let us check up one once again. I will. connect with the dc power supply once again this is the ground area and i'm going to insert the 19 volt yo just let us see there is no shorting on the dc power supply red light is not blinking on it means that there is no shorting in 19 volt okay let's start right now i am going to trigger it uh, this is the yes now this is stop on send point i have did not connect the ram okay short is i have removed the shorting from the motherboard okay in this way we can easily trace out the 19 volt fault section faulty section we have already removed this motherboard this is okay now this is working condition so if you get any kinds of problem this kinds of problem you can contact me i am also personal trainer if you want you can join me my contact number is 8800428011 thank you friends